from horned frogs and mountain chickens to guinea pigs and flying foxes. Here are 20 animals with the most misleading animal names. Number 20. Scorpion flies. While these insects can have a formidable appearance, they probably look scarier than their name suggests. Their common name is a reference to its upraised tail, which resembles a scorpion stinger, although it's nothing of the sort. The structure actually represents the male's reproductive apparatus. These insects do have a behaviour that's kind of macabre though. They mainly feed on dead or dying organisms, which has made them useful in forensic science. If the insects are present, it indicates that the body is still fresh. Number 19. Ringworms. It's not a worm at all. This is actually a fungal infection that is comprised of several different species of fungus. They feed on keratin, the protein that's found in hair, nails, and the outer layer of skin of humans and domesticated animals. The infection causes a ring-like shape to appear on the skin that resembles a worm burrow. Number 18. Chicken Turtles This freshwater reptile is endemic to the southwestern regions of the United States and are regarded as an unusual freshwater species. They have striped necks that are almost half the length of their carapace. They also tend to have webbed feet and will live in the water or on land. As for why they're called chicken turtles, it's because their meat allegedly tastes like the bird. Considering the birds and turtles are both reptiles, maybe it makes sense. Number 17. Seahorses Named for its equine appearance, the seahorse is really a marine fish that is comprised of about 45 known species. Its genus name is Hippocampus, which translates from the ancient Greek as horse and sea monster. Since the largest of these animals grows to about 14 inches, 36 centimeters, its scientific name might be more misleading than its common name. Did you know the word hippocampus can also refer to a major component of the human brain? Number 16, dragonflies. The confusion doesn't stem from whether or not it's a dragon. It's because this insect is not a true fly, but they're close. While they possess most of the physical traits of true flies, this animal belongs to a different order than houseflies or fruit flies. Those insects have two wings, while dragonflies have four wings. That makes them fast, agile flyers who are capable of migrating across oceans. Number 15. Flying Lemurs Like flying squirrels and other so-called flying mammals, this animal doesn't truly fly. It uses skin flaps between their legs to glide and swoop from higher to lower areas. And since they're located in Southeast Asia, they can't be lemurs anyway. Those animals are only found in Madagascar. These arboreal animals are properly identified as colugos, which are closely related to primates. Among all the gliding mammals, colugos are thought to be the most proficient. Experts say they can travel distances of 230 feet, 70 meters, without losing much altitude. Number 14, starfish. These marine invertebrates are also called sea stars, and it's easy to see why the shape of these animals inspired their nickname. But starfish have no scales, they can't swim, they don't have tails, and they don't possess gills. The misnamed creatures are actually star-shaped echinoderms, which are related to sea urchins. There are upwards of 2,000 species that occur from tropical to polar regions sometimes at depths of 20,000 feet, 6,000 meters below the surface. Number 13, King Cobras. These snakes from India and Southeast Asia are feared throughout the world for their deadly venom. The largest specimens can measure more than 19 feet, 5.9 meters. That makes them the longest venomous snakes on the planet. But even though they're identified as cobras, they're not a true cobra species. These serpents are placed within their own unique genus. Some of the differences that separate them from the Naha genus include their body size, habitat, and toxicity of venom. It's powerful enough to kill 20 adult humans with a single bite. Number 12, electric eel. The shocking truth is that the electric eel isn't an eel at all. It's a type of knife fish with a scaleless serpentine body which inspired the eel name. Found in freshwater habitats of South America, these eels can measure about 6.7 feet, 2 meters, and weigh 44 pounds, or 20 kilograms. The electric part of their common name is accurate enough. Experts say they can discharge about 860 volts, which is equivalent to being zapped by a stun gun. Number 11, killer whales. They're often called orcas, but killer whale is the better known nickname. 
killer is a fair description, since these are major league apex predators that will go after seals, dolphins, and even great white sharks. Some sources take issue with calling them whales, because they're the largest member of the oceanic dolphin family. But dolphins are classified as toothed whales, and you can't argue that that name is technically correct. Weighing some 13,000 pounds, 6 metric tons, and measuring 26 feet or 8 meters, they rival the size of some whales, and that inspired the comparison. Number 10. Koala Bears The laid-back, eucalyptus-munching animals are a lot of things, but they're not bears. Unlike those beasts, these are herbivorous, arboreal marsupials that are native to Australia. Early settlers in Oz misidentified koalas due to a perceived resemblance to bears, but their closest living relatives are wombats. Even though these animals can sleep around 20 hours a day and appear slow, they can move fast when they need to. It has been documented that koalas can run some 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour. When excited, they can make leaps of six and a half feet, two meters. Kangaroos and koalas are two of Australia's most famous animal icons. Some people say they're more popular than roos. Which one would you vote for? Number nine, red panda. When you say panda, you immediately think of the black and white giant panda. Those animals do share some similarities, like eating bamboo, but the species are not remotely related. This panda is more closely related to weasels, raccoons, and skunks. Because it's so unique, scientists have placed it within its own family. These animals have remained basically the same for some 7 million years, and are regarded as living fossils. Did you know that red pandas were first described in 1825? The giant panda wasn't catalogued until nearly 50 years later. Number 8. Bearcat Found in jungle regions of Southeast Asia, the Bin Turong is also called the Asian bearcat, but it's neither an ursid or a felid of any sort. Its closest relatives are civets, a diverse family of carnivores. Growing up to three feet long, less than one meter, not counting the tail, they can weigh up to 50 pounds, 23 kilograms. While they do eat meat, the animals are very fond of fruit, especially grapes. They live high in the trees, so they're not often spotted in the wild. Did you know that Bin Turong marks its territory with a scent that's similar to popcorn or corn chips? Number seven, raccoon dog. Here's a case where an animal's common name is half correct. These animals from East Asia are canids, although their nearest relatives are true foxes. But they're not closely related to raccoons, although their facial mask gives them a strong resemblance. They have several traits that are unique among canids. That includes climbing trees and hibernating in the winter. Some sources claim they make good pets, but in Sweden, they're considered an invasive species because they carry tapeworms and destroy gardens and vineyards. Interestingly, similar behavior is often displayed by actual raccoons. Number six, horny toads. While these animals are well named for their horns and spikes, they're not toads or any other type of amphibian. These are lizards that are found across North America. The frog connection is probably due to their body shape and sluggish movements. They're noted for puffing themselves up into a spiked ball, which makes it difficult for predators to swallow them. Some species have a bizarre defense mechanism that involves shooting blood from their eyes at aggressors from five feet, one and a half meters away. Number five, prairie dog. They're not canines that live on the prairies. They're a type of ground squirrel that are found throughout North America, from the Great Plains to Northern Mexico. The common name has been used since the 18th century and was inspired by the animal's calls, which sound like a dog's bark. But the tone of this rodent's bark is only comparable to the smallest of true dogs. Did you know they've sometimes been called barking squirrels? Number four, American Buffalo. Enormous herds of these beasts once roamed grasslands that range from Alaska to the Gulf of Mexico, but they weren't really herds of buffalo. Those animals were American bison, which were recognized as of the Old West. True buffalo occur in Africa and Asia and have larger horns and leaner bodies. In the late 18th century, more than 60 million American bison existed. By 1889, less than 550 remained. They almost went extinct due to the forces of commercial hunting and slaughter during the 19th century. After recovery efforts were made, more than 30,000 of them exist today in national parks and reserves. Number three, mountain chicken. This one might have the most deceptive name on the list, 
The mountain chicken is really a frog that is found in the islands of Dominica and Montserrat in the Caribbean. The nickname arose because it's a much preyed upon delicacy that supposedly tastes like chicken. Hunting along with disease and other factors have caused its population to drop by more than 80% within a decade. It's currently listed as critically endangered. Number two, flying fox. From the common name, you might get the idea that this animal is a fox with wings. These are actually flying mammals identified as megabats. More than 60 species are distributed throughout isolated islands of the Indian and Pacific Oceans and regions of Asia and continental Australia. Some of them have wingspans approaching 5 feet, 1.5 metres, which is larger than the red fox. But they have very little in common with their namesakes. These flying foxes eat fruit and live in the trees and are among the least known order of bats. It's their fur and fox-like facial features that invite the comparisons. Number 1. Guinea pigs In the US, these rodents are often kept as household pets, but despite their name, the animals have no connection to Guinea in West Africa, and they're not pigs. Researchers say they originated in the Andes of South America, where they're sometimes consumed as delicacies. But it's still unclear where the misleading name originated. Since they're rodents with fur and fast metabolisms, the only connection with true porkers is that they're both mammals. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.